Welcome back to Retro Renovations with the Suzuki Supercarry, also known as Bever Rascal. Here's Jack, my supervisor. And you and Jack, yeah. So today, I'll show you what we're doing. <laughs> Well, we've got him all jacked up. He's secure on an axle stand. Always leave the wheel underneath somewhere that it could drop on. If the axle stand ever went, you don't want to be crushed. So for safety, always leave the wheel there and uh, over, overkill Jack. There's an overkill Jack in you, Jack. Oh, stay there, stay. So obviously I've showed you in a previous video this uh, wheel arch. This is the uh, near side, passenger side. and. This nice crusty bit of filler there. And if I go in, you can just see the remnants of the fiberglass. We don't want any of that in there. So what we do have is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brand spanking new wheel arch. Whenever you do any welding, take the battery out. Disconnect the battery, take it out completely. Now this one's really wet on top. I've had a look, I think it's covered in spray grease. Um, so yeah, these wheel arches are oversized, you won't need all of the bottom, but always best to have too much. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to grind away and see what we're left with. Then we're going to see the state of down here, how far back we've got to go. Then we'll cut, we'll mark it three times before cutting, mark the end of this wheel arch to cut across where it needs to be. Then I'll be able to line it up on there and give us a template as to where it comes to. If it falls short, we'll have to put a piece of steel in and do this repair first before putting the wheel arch on. But we won't know until we've got it lined up to see how far it goes. I got a feeling that rot is after the end of the wheel arch. So it might be putting a piece of steel in there. But we'll take you along, we'll show you. Right, apologies if I sniff during this video, it's midwinter. Um, yeah, I'll show you what we gotta do. First things first, I went and purchased a brand new bottle, yes. So the heater is on. I've gotta get Jack out of the van, which I'll have to do with a treat, I suppose. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna measure, have a look at this, you can see grinder just landed on my foot we can see that there's a hole there and that matches the hole here so I'm going to mark around as far back as I can cut go so that I can cut this bound because at the moment I can't mark it up or put it side by side because this lug would go inside there which we don't need so the first job is to carefully trim the panel back come in around this edge so that we can then mark it up. I'll show you what I mean. Right, providing yours isn't too rotten and you've got no rot in that corner, make sure you give it a good tap first to find out. You do need to cut quite a considerable bit, bit off. See, I've cut quite a considerable bit, bit off so that you can get it in that corner. Now what you've got to do is we've got to cut this back and peel back. So for now, I've just cut that down there, and we can lift that off. 
still connected just a little bit down there. Let's give it a tug. Oh, that's good, I'd cut that. And now I measure up again. Now, right, once you've cut the inner, I would say the outer section out, this bit is a lip. It won't come completely off because he's connected there, look. But what you've got to do is just start to peel it off. And what you're aiming for is there's a the chassis of the other panel, the, the other layer is underneath. So we're just removing the upper layer. So just give it a tap. And bring it over. There you go. <clears throat> so we're just removing what we're replacing. So we only want to replace this. So we want to try and preserve everything that's underneath. We can clean this up in a minute. Obviously this piece is too short. I'll show you when we line the panel up. So I'm going to have to weld in something to join this up but for now i'll continue tapping this round these are just spot welded in one little place there was a spot weld here which is what you can see there then there's just another couple of spot welds down let's let's uh let's get the rest off and as i say just keep following it along keep feeding down to about here and then this will ping off this bit had two more spots there or three there and there just keep peeling it off we can grind back and see the condition of this bit and straighten that up underneath in a minute so now you're left once that's all peeled off with the under layer obviously we can grind these spots off and he's a bit too short because mine was rotten there but he's quite solid here so i don't need as much on there as i got so let's put this line this up so use that there as your guide Oh, doing this one handy so you can see that I've got to put a piece of metal in as a support there so we're going to be putting two bits in there the upper one would probably be easier to do once I've put the panel in so we're just going to put the under one in for now and as you can see it's a nice fit across but we don't need as much there so if I come off you see where the inner line of that is I'm going to mark now this panel to that inner line and I'm just going to allow an inch. I'll show you when I've cut it because there is a little bit of rot down there so we do want to overlap a little bit and I'm just going to put a chisel through that piece of rust there to see how structured that is. Yeah that was all good in there so in essence I don't need I don't need any of that so I can come off right down there so I'm going to snip that off. I have got a hole here so I'm going to cut this out so before I attempt to do the wheel arch, I'm going to straighten this up, trim this new panel, I'm going to cut this rot out, and we're going to tidy this up. So I'm going to put a new piece of steel in here, and a new piece of steel in here, and then I'll measure the new panel up against it. Once grinded off, you can see where I've got to do. Get yourself a cereal box, any brand to do, because it's nice thin cardboard and you can make yourself a template. So there's template number one, that's going to fit on that nicely, give that a nice bit of steel there. And just got to bend it round and I've given it an angle so that we can push the wheel arch up into it. Right, let's see how that goes. That's to template number one. Let's make the other template. And template number two is just a small sliver of steel just to give it some strength because we've got that hole there. I'm going to come up and don't worry about that one because that's a rubber bung. But yeah, we're just going to put that steel in there. So we're going to cut those two out now, get them welded in. Sorted. some reason my welder is welding intermittently. 
which is really frustrating but that's a good enough job it's welded all the way around and um, yeah I'm happy with that so I'm just going to grind it back so it's flush and then we're going to line up the, uh, the wheel arch good stuff so just line this up now obviously I've got to grind that back that's going to go in there wild across there this tucks underneath get out of one hand and that'll go in there and wild across and then what we've got to do is we've got to drill holes in the top of this panel so that it will wild onto this piece Right, get it tacked in place just literally held in place get your earth on there good and then you can tack, weld and tap away now Once you've got your weld there, then go along tapping down with a screwdriver and a hammer or similar and go along and when you get the bottom then we can weld that bit in. And that's the wheel arch in nice and solid and we pair around there I say nice and sturdy now much better than it was now I'm just gonna tidy it up yeah good job quite chuffed with that one wheel arch in one to go and a lot of other repairs so we're only there the boss has now been allowed back in to inspect the work. What do you reckon? Do I get Paul? Do I get Paul? Good. Do I give it a go? Yeah. It's absolutely hammering down mm -hmm. outside now. Mm -hmm. But it's still warm. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the final work. You can, obviously if you've got a camper van or you've got a van that you want to show. Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> he wants to say his piece. I know, let me finish. You can put a little bit of P30 or finishing filler just over the edges um, and uh, that'll give you a final product. I'm not too fussed, this is my work van. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the finished one. Like I say, join me on another video as we do the rest of the work. See you on the next one. Change has a reason.